Parker National House of Prayer. We're going to close the show out today in prayer. Before we go there, Rob, if people want to get in touch, where do they find you again? nhawk.ca. Okay. And uh, it's right there. They've got information on our website for everyone. Powerful. And uh, now would you lead us and just praying for our leaders, lead us yeah. in praying for anything that's on your heart today for our nation. Let's do it. Perfect. Well, Father, we come and we thank you, God, first of all, for our freedoms that we have in Canada. Mm. But God, we do pray that those freedoms would be protected. We pray right now for our leaders. We pray for our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. We pray, God, for all of those in, uh, uh, who serve with him. God, we pray for wisdom for each one. We ask God for humility, that, Lord, wherever they are, are lacking in, in, in judgment or not knowing what to do, we know that your word says that you give wisdom generously without finding fault. And so, God, we pray for the blessing of wisdom on our government. That, Lord, anything that would be, the decisions that would be made, which may lead to more oppression rather than freedom, Father, we pray that they'd be led. And that, God, that they'd be led in a way that brings a blessing to the people whom they govern. And we pray for Canadians across Canada. That, God, we would be engaged. We would not be disengaged. We would not... Um, uh, hold bitterness or harbor resentment towards government. But God, we pray that we'd walk in a way of bringing blessing and especially the blessing of praying for those in authority as you've called us to. We thank you, Lord, that we can call out to you for wisdom. I particularly, Lord, want to pray for mayors across our land. That, Lord, as they, as they seek to implement this bill regarding marijuana, Father, we pray that, uh, Lord, that they'd be led by you we ask God that bylaws could be brought into play that would protect our children and protect our communities. And so God, we pray for your blessing on these mares. As if any of them are not knowing what to do, God, we pray that you will lead them, that you'll bring people as to bring good counsel into their lives. Father, that uh, Lord, the decisions they make would be good for the communities that they seek to lead. Thank you, Father. Powerful. Lord, we also pray for the families that Rob mentioned. God, we pray for parents across our nation. God, we ask that parental rights would be upheld, Father. Amen. Lord, we pray for our freedoms as a nation. Lord, we ask that these things that have been foundational pillars that have made Canada such a safe haven for so many, Father, would remain intact. Lord, would you give our, our leaders wisdom? And Father, we pray for ourselves. We pray for the church. Lord, we join with believers from all across Canada right now through this telecast. And we ask God that you would help us, Father, to be a blessing, to, to get involved, to get out there, to vote, to be fervent in praying, not just for our own needs, but for, for our entire nation and, and to bless our leaders in this powerful way. Thank you, in Jesus. Jesus' name, amen. Thank so Rob, we got about a minute left here. Right. Do you have one last admonition that you could leave uh, with our viewers today? Well, I, I really want to encourage you to um, Go through that awkward place of prayer, get through it, and keep pressing in. Um, watch how God will speak to you through, through prayer. Uh, I, want to, I want you to know that prayer is powerful and effective. We're, we're probably Christians because someone prayed for us. Do you know that? And so the question you have to ask, well, who am I praying for? What am I praying for? I, I really believe that one of the greatest calls that we have as, as a Christian is that we ourselves would be a house of prayer. And so I want to encourage you. Prayer changes things. Prayer works. Many of you are praying for your own children and families. Well, I, I'm joining with you that God would move in our land, that a spirit of prayer would come upon our nation and those who know and love him. So keep going. Don't quit. Amen. Amen. Prayer changes things. Thank you, Rob, for being Thank with you. us today. I'll see you in Ottawa. You bet. <laughs> Thank you. But the Bible also teaches us that I will, therefore, that first of all, that prayer, supplications, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Then he goes and he says, for kings and for all those in authority over us, that we may lead a quiet and a peaceful life. Father, we thank you right now for the Queen of England, who is really the sovereign ruler over this nation. Below you, of course, God, but we thank you, Father God, for her and for the for the Governor General, Father God, for David Johnston, Lord, and for and we pray for them, Father God. We pray that that you'll just continue to keep this nation free, glorious and free, Father God. And Father, we pray for all the members of Parliament, for the cabinet members. Father God, we pray that something will happen, something will be shaken, 
Something will shift, something will change in our government and it will just cause people to draw near to you. We pray for our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Father God, we may not agree with him, but we pray for him because your word says we are to pray for him. And Father, we pray you can turn the hearts of the king. Father God, no man is beyond saving. You died for him just like you died for every one of us. We ask that even that sin and even the rebellion in us would be cleansed, the iniquities would be cleansed, cleansed completely, and that, Father, the foundation for righteousness, you said over there, godliness makes a nation great. And, God, that's the cry of every one of us as men and women of God, as leaders, and as the people of God to stand up because righteousness exalteth the nation. But sin brings it down and brings it into the place of shame. So let's break up into those groups right now and let's pray for our prime minister. Let's pray for all those members of parliament in your riding and region. Let's pray for the local governments in our regions. And let's pray that God would raise up the labors into the harvest to hit this hill of the society that we live in that is so huge before God.